welcome to bsc statistics students so in this uh, class uh, i explain uh, secondary data uh, what is meant by a secondary data secondary data is nothing but it is collected by a data it is collected by some organization some earlier agency and is used and analyzed by any other uh, agency or individual for its own purpose for their own purpose so such kind of data is known as secondary data that is uh, the difference between primary data and secondary data primary data is the data collected original in nature the first time and such data is known as primary data and uh, secondary data is nothing but whatever collected data that is primary data the collected data was collected and uh, which uh, was kept in a particular record and uh, some other agency some other agency or some other uh, individual another individual uh, uses the data they use the data uh, for some other purpose for their own purpose for their own uh, uh, use they have to they if they use the data uh, or if they use the data which was already collected the data was already collected and uh, used by some other organization that such data is known as secondary data if the data collected first time it is known as primary data if the data was used whatever collected data was used by another any organization another organization another an individual for their own purpose and that is called secondary data there are several sources published sources unpublished sources these are the two important sources of secondary data so uh, these are secondary data sources are published sources unpublished sources first we discuss published sources what are published sources so for uh, national and uh, some of the national and international agencies usually they collect the statistical data relating to many number of socio economic variables or uh, some kind of variables which are uh, of national importance or international importance uh, for the um, purpose of the um, people living in their country uh, in the country so for example uh, business uh, trade labor prices consumption production agriculture industry income health population and for many number of socio economic characteristics and the national and international agencies they usually collect the data and uh, publish their findings in the statistical reports on regular basis which means uh, either monthly or quarterly or annually based on the purpose of the collecting the data Uh, and they publish the um, they publish uh, this uh, um, whatever the collected data and uh, in their magazines or reports and such collection of data this is uh, uh, comes under secondary data because uh, data was collected and published okay then any now anybody can use this particular data you see uh, in which uh, we have some important uh, uh, publications in the published sources we have some of these um, important uh, pub sources of the published uh, data that is published source of secondary data the government publications official uh, semi official publications uh, and uh, private publications etc there are there are many now we discuss government what are the government publications usually in our country the government of india uh, some of the organization who collect the data for some particular regular purpose um, and they um, collect the data uh, and they publish it on various uh, um, uh, that is their uh, magazines uh, uh, in various fields okay now so one among which one such as, um, some of the organizations i mentioned here the central statistical organization cso they collect the data for many number of uh, uh, objectives so by keep, by keeping many number of objectives uh, they uh, collect the data and they publish the data uh, in their uh, magazines uh, and secondly national sample survey organization nsso this is one of the prominent uh, organization that is uh, very important organization who collects the data a third one office of the 
registrar general and census commissioner of india new delhi so these are some government publications though um, they collect the data and uh, they published the data i also i mentioned some of the uh, uh, other publications uh, uh, directorate directorate of economics and statistics uh, uh, labor bureau ministry of labor etc there are many number of uh, organizations who collect the data uh, that is government publications the first one and uh, second one international publications uh, international publications the various uh, foreign governments uh, and international agencies like uh, united nations organization uno world bank uh, international monetary fund imf they regularly collect the data and uh, they published uh, they published the um, their data in some particular reports of the uh, reports uh, in their reports uh, um, on various aspects they collect the data okay uh, these organizations usually collect the data and uh, they published on their uh, uh, magazines uh, the reports uh, uh, on the mayor regular uh, they published on regular particular uh, published reports uh, in their reports they um, usually uh, publish these uh, whatever the collected data okay that is of this second one international publications and the third one semi official publications if you refer semi official publications uh, what are semi official publications various local bodies such as district boards municipal corporations banking organizations etc which are comes under uh, semi official publications um, published and periodical uh, um, periodicals providing information about vital events socio economic characteristics etc uh, whatever the um, variables they select uh, for their own purpose and then uh, they collect the data and uh, they publish the, uh, in their uh, um, magazines or records and reports right uh, the, which are called semi official publications now come to the private publication private uh, publications some of the private publications uh, in our country uh, which use the uh, which collect the data and uh, they publish the um, data and which are called which are also called secondary sources secondary data sources uh, in private publications uh, uh, publications of uh, professional bodies like indian statistical institute isi csir council for scientific and industrial research icer ncert etc which are all uh, comes under private publications the annual reports of private banks uh, this is also comes under private publications now you see still uh, information published in newspapers books magazines etc uh, and reports prepared by research scholars of the university uh, some of the uh, research scholars uh, they what they do is they do the research they conduct the research and then they published uh, um, they publish their uh, report that is uh, their thesis which are uh, which come uh, also comes under private publications now uh, these are the published sources uh, national publications that is government official publications international publications semi official publications uh, private publications which are all comes under uh, uh, published sources now come to the unpublished sources what are the unpublished sources okay uh, unpublished sources means uh, here the information taken from the sources like diaries, letters, uh, unpublished uh, biographies, autobiographies, uh, etc., which are all uh, comes under uh, unpublished sources, which are called unpublished sources. The data may be avail with, uh, available with some scholars, trade associations, individuals, which are also uh, under the uh, unpublished sources called so um, we can treat as unpublished sources the which is very clear the sources the public uh, the data was not uh, what after collecting the data data was not uh, published the da some data was collected and it is not published and such kind of data is known as unpublished sources right these are the two particular important uh, sources of secondary data uh, and uh, some of the precautions for using the secondary data specified here please uh, follow clearly this is which are very important 
the organization must check whether the data is reliable and suitable for the statistical survey before taking the data the primary data is a first collected original data whereas secondary data is a uh, data which is collected which is taken from the which is taken from the primary data simply to specify so therefore what we are to do is uh, any organization who want to collect take the data that is uh, from the primary sources uh, or published sources uh, um, then what you have to do is uh, they must they must have to check whether the data is reliable and suitable reliable and suitable and we have to check uh, these two particular aspects very clearly and uh, which were updated um, that is also very important from to time to time whether the data was updated or not uh, updated data is uh, uh, whether we are considering or not that is very important for any particular statistical enquiry or survey the second point is that investigating team should check whether the data is sufficient for present investigation that's very very important uh, we have to check whether the data is uh, um, sufficient for present investigation for the, uh, whatever the um, time period uh, whether the data was updated or not uh, it is whether it is sufficient uh, it is updated uh, these are the points are going to be checked uh, before taking the data primary data uh, that is uh, uh, whatever the data was collected uh, and uh, kept uh, in some in some particular record and uh, before taking the data before taking the uh, primary data that is already collected data we have to check whether that is uh, uh, in the form of secondary data that is called secondary data that kind of data whether it is plausible suitable reliable uh, that is we have to examine consistent that is uh, uh, it was updated that which are all the things we have to uh, check whether before taking the um, data whether the whether it is whether, whether the data is suitable or not um, these are the precautions you have to consider um, while taking the secondary data using the secondary data right thank you